hey y'all so today is the day that i find my dream wedding dress and i have my mom with me we're just leaving you know she looks cute so i just had to get a little solo video of her before we left out um and of course it's snowing we live in canada so she decided she'll clean the snow off the car for me she really only did this because it's the wedding dress day and she didn't want me to be outside in the freezing cold um and i got to the boutique it's called blushing bridal boutique it's in mississauga um i stood here for a good while not realizing that the sign said to actually go to the other door and i realized that after i rang the doorbell <laughs> The store is really cute. It was like a gray, pink, and silver theme. I tried my best to get as much content as I could so I can make a vlog out of it. So enjoy this video, y'all. Um, there are some pictures coming along with it because I'm not gonna lie, I was 100% living in the moment and I almost forgot to film. But these are the dresses that we have. Before I actually entered the store, when I was emailing the um, the individual who worked there, I had to choose three of my top dresses. This was my second dress, so I will be trying that on later on. This dress that the lady is holding was my absolute first choice. You may be looking at this and thinking, ew, that's not cute, but let me just insert a photo right here so you can see what this dress looks like on the model. So number one is the dress that the lady just held up in the store. This is the dress that I wanted to be, my dream wedding dress. Um, and I just love the long sleeve. I wasn't opposed to having long sleeves because I was getting married in the winter time. And I absolutely love the backless look of this dress. Also, the train on this dress could be removed for like the reception when you're dancing. The second choice that I chose was this dress. I absolutely love the fact that this had a corset. I thought that was different. I also liked the slit of this dress, but after seeing it in store, um, I realized that the slit was too high. Also, this dress was made for somebody with very long legs, which I do not have. So the journey continued to find a dress. Fortunately, I couldn't try on my first choice dress because it was sold the day before um, and the lady was coming to pick it up. So nobody else could try it on. But this is just an overview of the store and what it looked like. I was running around very excited because now i had to choose different dresses um there are some like magazines available for people to just like sit down and look through the different looks that you can do and i thought that was really cute i didn't really look through them but my mom did and she said it was nice um okay so now we get into the first dress that i tried on in the store Fun fact, when I walked into the store, this is actually the first dress that my mom saw and she was like, Jess, you should try this dress on, it's absolutely beautiful. But I was so set on um, a previous dress and I was like, no mom, I don't wanna try that on, that's kind of ugly. Um, and anyways, long story short, I ended up trying this dress on and you will see in the end that this dress ended up being one of the most beautiful dresses that I tried on, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, here's a picture of how it looked. I absolutely love the bottom of this dress. That was one of the features that I was like, this is beautiful, we have to get this on camera. And getting into the veil. This dress anyways is a blush pink dress. So I wanted to get a blush pink veil to match it. However, the veils in the stores were so expensive. This I think was like $780. So when the lady said that, I knew I was not going to buy a veil from this specific store, um, but obviously I wanted to try it on and see what it was. Um, I also decided to try on a white veil because I just wanted to see what it looked like. You know, I'm getting married for the first time. My dress isn't 100% white, so I did want that white flower in the dress to pop and also oh, I absolutely love this blush pink veil it was so soft but I had to get myself together and remember that the veil is only one part of the wedding so trying the veil on really gave me a better sense of what I would look like on the wedding day but now we get into the second dress that I tried on I absolutely loved how like white and creamish this dress was they didn't have it in my exact size, so the lady had to use some clips to make it tighter. This this dress was just absolutely amazing. Um, the only thing that I didn't love about it is that I would have to get it altered. And I was really against spending more money on getting a dress altered. But I know if it was altered, it would have fit me like, like a glove. So the third dress I tried on was this. 
I had actually seen this dress all over Instagram. I know a couple people who got married in this dress, so I was very much against getting it. I still wanted to try it on because the details on this dress are absolutely beautiful. Like, uh, the camera just does not do it justice. Um, and also what I loved about this dress was the back of it. The back had like a swoop, um, and I think like the top half fit me very, very well. But this is just like a close up of what the details on the dress look like. Um, so now I had to make the decision on what dress to get. I got a really good deal on the dress um, that I purchased, so I made the decision to just go ahead right there and then and purchase the dress and pay for it. Um, I was very excited. Coming into the store, the dress that I got is not the dress that I even had in mind. It's actually a dress that I thought was not going to fit my body well, but the process of getting my wedding dress was absolutely beautiful. It was easy. You may not hear this story for a lot of brides, but the first dress I tried on is the dress that I got. I only went to one store. Um, I personally just didn't want to go through the hassle of trying on multiple dresses and getting confused i'm very set in my way so if i love something i go ahead and get it right i always say if i'm indecisive about something then both options are probably not meant to be all right y'all so this is how i looked at my wedding day i did go ahead and i purchased the first dress that i tried on which was absolutely stunning um if you enjoyed today's content please go ahead and subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it also comment below and let me know which one was your favorite dress and give this video a thumbs up i'll see you all in my next video bye lovelies